Hey everyone, Digital David here today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to format and set up your EGIT external drives. Doesn't matter if it's a spinning hard disk drive or a solid state external drive, you'll follow the same procedure to set everything up. They should be plug and play to go right into your computer, but if you have to change and format the drives, I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you wanna see a full review of either of these drives with benchmarking, the videos are already up on the channel, so be sure to check them out. If you're interested in these products, the links to them will be in the video description below, so go ahead and check them out there. Now let's go ahead, let's get them set up. So you can see we have our M1 solid state external drive plugged into our computer right now. It's gonna follow the same setup and formatting procedures, whether you're using the M1 or the G20 or any other external hard drive for that matter. Keep in mind, EGIT has multiple sizes available depending on the drive that you need and different storage capacity options for you. So we have a Windows 10 PC right here. You'll follow a similar format if you're using this on a Mac, but it will be different due to the different operating systems. And you'll wanna choose a different format depending on your intended use for the drive. So for Windows, you can see we have our file explorer already pulled up right here, but you could just go ahead and click on this folder icon to open a new file explorer tab in window. From file explorer, you can see we have our eGit drive right here. So here is, we just selected it and you can see the folder is empty, the drive is empty, it's brand new, hasn't been used. Now we can go ahead, let's right click and select properties. I wanna show you guys the properties right here. And you can see we have our device properties. So we're showing 238 gigabytes usable out of 256 gigabytes. And you can see our file system is EXFAT right here. We have a bunch of different options depending on what we wanna do with this drive. We could clean it up. And obviously what we'll be looking for is the ability to format it. So I'll just click through all these settings for you so you can see the different options that we have. But basically that's gonna be our properties for the drive. And now we can right click again and you can see we have the format option available for us to format this drive. So it's very easy to do. You can see our capacity again. Here's the different file system options we have. NTFS is great if you're just gonna be using this with a Windows computer, that's gonna be the option I recommend for you guys. If you'll be using this with a Mac, then you're gonna to wanna to use EXFAT. It's similar to FAT32, but it's not gonna give you any difficulties or issues as you use it between the two operating system. So let's just leave it EXFAT for now. You can see we have our allocation unit size. You can do the default size. You can leave it as it is. We can restore device defaults right here too. If you do something and you mess something up, you can always restore back to the device defaults. We can change the label name right here too. And then we can do a full format or a quick format. In this case, let's just select quick format. And you can see we start it up and we get this warning on the screen. It's gonna erase everything and you won't be able to recover it. Select okay. And now you can see we're formatting right now. And there we go, very fast, simple, and straightforward. So we just formatted the drive. Everything is all set up and ready to go so we can use it between Mac and Windows. Now, just for fun, let's do it one more time, guys, with the NTFS as our default. You can see the allocation unit size changed. And we can also still restore device defaults. We can change the name and let's do another format. Here we go. So it's formatting for us right now. And the format is complete. We can select okay and there we go, it's done. And if we want to one more time, let's restore the defaults. So you can see it just restored the defaults right here. And we can select okay. And it's gonna leave us with NTFS for the default and our default allocation size right there. So that's how you're gonna format the drive. Now let's look at a different way within Windows to format the drive as well. So you can also search your computer for control panel. We can open the control panel app. Then we can choose system and security. From system and security, you can go down here to administrative tools. You can select create and format hard disk partitions. That's gonna load up the disk management tool for you. You can see that tool right here. And now we can choose our drive. It's right here. You can see it. So we have 238 gigabytes free out of the 256 gigabytes available. And you can see we can select it here where we have a bunch of different options. So we can open, we can explore, we can change drive letters and pass. We can format, we can extend the volume, shrink the volume, delete the volume, view the properties that we looked at earlier, and then we have a help section. So let's go ahead, let's select format. 
And you can see, here we go, we can format the G drive, EGIT. We can choose our file system, which one do we want? Allocation size, default, perform a quick format. So let's go ahead, let's select OK. We get this nice warning prompt, just like we did in the other version. And you can see it's formatting right there. There we go. It's formatted, it's changed everything for us. It's got the same allocation of space available and we're showing a healthy primary partition for the drive. So that's the two different ways and options you can format and set up your EGIT external hard drives and solid state drives. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.